Hi, I'm Jennifer Lee, Lead Admin Evangelist, and today I'm excited to show you a client meeting prep agent built by Mallory Donahue. It's incredibly easy to create agents using simple language and basic flows. So we're in Agent Builder, so I can show you what happens behind the scenes with an agent. Let's imagine I'm a salesperson heading to a hospital to sell medical supplies. Before my meeting, I need a quick update. So I'm gonna ask my agent, I'm meeting with Lauren Bailey in a couple of minutes. Is there anything I need to know? So the agent is analyzing my response. And it comes back and lets me know that there is a open case on shipping delays, there's two back orders, and one is eligible for a rebate. So what's happening in the background? My agent hit the account brief topic and executed some of the instructions tied to this topic. It also called a custom flow action that gathered account information, orders, and cases. So next, I'm going to ask, how many units are needed to qualify for a rebate? And the agent responds that I only need 10 units for um, it to qualify. So with two back orders and there being an open case regarding shipping times, this is a really great opportunity to deliver excellent customer service. So to dive deeper, I ask, when can the fee for expedited shipping be waived? So the agent right now is checking our policy. and the agent lets me know that the fees can be waived for accounts valued at $200,000 or more. Now this time, it used a different topic called general FAQ. And here it executed the instructions and it used a standard action, answer questions with knowledge. So I'm gonna follow up with, Omega would qualify for free expedited shipping, right? All right, and here the agent confirms, yes, Omega does qualify. So how did we build this? Now let's head over to Flow Builder and take a look at that auto launch flow we created. Notice that for each element, we're a good admin and we provided descriptions. And over in the variables, you'll notice that we have descriptions for everything. Now, descriptions are going to be key in creating those agent actions. And you need to set your variables accordingly. So what do I mean by that? And when you're creating your auto launch flow, you need to think ahead, what information will the agent send to flow and what information will flow send back to the agent? Now, anything that's sent from the agent to flow should be marked with available for input. Anything that you need back in the agent from flow would be set for available for output. Okay, so now let's go back into Agent Builder. And we're gonna go into our account brief. And here we created the account brief topic that determines when to use the topic, the scope of the topic, and then the instructions to help the agent decide how to use the actions in the topic. Now we're gonna go over to actions and I'm gonna remove the current one and let's start over from scratch so you can see how easy it is to create an agent action. We're gonna add an action, we're gonna select flow and we're gonna select the auto launch flow that we just went through and look, it automatically pulled in those instructions right from our flow. We didn't have to type a thing. So now for our inputs, we're gonna set this to require input. And for all of our output variables, we're gonna set them to show in conversation. And that's it. So this level of automation with Agent Force gives users critical information right when they need it, helping them be even more productive.